<laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I'm looking like Shia LaBeouf right now with the <laughs> face. My my mind is like Jim Carrey, and my instincts are like David Goggins right now. Like I'm going crazy, okay? But listen, I'm making this video because damn, the mosquitoes are biting me right now. I just want to start off by saying, your mind has to be stronger than your feelings, okay? There's so many instances in my life where I've had feelings take over and make certain actions that I look back now, logically speaking, I'm like, damn, I'm not gonna lie, that was not really the smartest thing to do, you know what I'm saying? So your mind has to be stronger than your feelings, okay? You have to say to yourself at the end of the day, is the game over or is it let the games begin? You know what I mean? This world is a fucking monopoly, all right? I'm gonna just say it straight up right now, this world is a monopoly. You never know what to expect, you never know what to happen, uh, what's gonna come, what's not gonna come, and sometimes you just gotta enjoy the ride. I don't like roller coasters, but life is a roller coaster, okay? I'm making this video because the truth is, is we only got one shot at this shit, okay? One shot at this life, and I felt like speaking my shit right now, straight up. We only got one shot at this life, and we never get it back, okay? And I know so many people out there in the world, especially a lot of you guys that are probably watching this video right now, I'm sure you fucking sit home in the back of your bed, you're laying there watching this video, or any other video, you probably skipped off already, so it's already irrelevant me fucking saying this shit right now, but if you haven't, there's probably something subconsciously in the back of your mind that you're thinking like, damn, I kind of regret not ever doing this, or not ever trying that, or not ever fucking, I don't know, trying out for a sport, or I don't know, basketball, or fucking soccer, or fucking asking this girl out in particular because you never know what would have happened because you were too scared because you're a pussy i don't fucking know dude you know what i'm saying so what i'm trying to sit here and say right now is that you need to fucking step on the gas and you need to make that move whatever it is that you're thinking about in particular you need to make that move you need to look at the chessboard and you need to see what's the best decision to make here at this current time all right straight up you know there's so many instances in my life where i'm like damn i fucked up there or I did amazing here, but at the end of the day, you can't look at it in the way of like, I fucked up here, and I regret this, and you know, I should have said this instead, or done this instead, maybe I would have been better off, or had a better outcome going and doing it this way, you can't look at it like that, because at the end of the day, all those actions you've made, or said, or whatever the fuck we're talking about here in particular, it's all dependent on the scenario, it's led you to where you are now, right, it's led me to where I am right now currently, so, look, we only got one shot at this life. I'm 21 years old, and I'm speaking like I'm fucking 75. But the truth is, is I'm going to wake up tomorrow, and I might be. I just might be, if I even get to 75 years old. Because the truth is, is we all, you know, live in a fairy tale and think like we're going to live until we're 100 years old. But statistically speaking, how many of us do live until we're 100? Not fucking many. So, you need to live your life now. Okay, you need to live your life now. You need to do the shit that you were meant to do, what you want to do, what you feel like you were supposed to do, right? And listen, I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of people tell me all the time that they're always feeling like they're held back because a certain friend group or a certain girlfriend or, you know, a buddy that they feel like has their best interest, maybe a family member or family members advise them to tell them to not do a certain thing or to not you know, pursue a certain career path or a certain sport or, you know, don't do that. You'll get hurt, you know, like just anything, you know, because they are a little scared or maybe unwary of like what the fuck they're kind of dwelling into. You know what I mean? And listen, I'm not going to sit here and say that those people have ill intent for you. Okay. Because clearly there's some that obviously don't. I'm sure your family doesn't want to fucking hope the worst for your ass but maybe it's as simple as like they're just not well educated on what you're trying to go into and that goes into like a lot of things not just career wise right so the truth is is that sometimes you need to just close your ears put your head down and just stay locked in and fucking focus on whatever the fuck it is no matter what anybody or whoever the fuck comes in your life or tells you you can't do this you shouldn't do that you shouldn't do this because that will do this instead and you know not have the outcome that you're looking for you gotta, sometimes, you gotta just fucking close the noise and tell them to just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up, bro. I sound like I'm on fucking ayahuasca right now. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I'm talking, like, out of my ass right now. But I'm speaking some real shit. Like, I'm being authentic with you guys right now, right? This world is a live and learn experience, right? We live, we learn, we make mistakes. 
and that's how we learn right in order to be successful we have to fail and i love failing you know what i'm saying i love fucking failing right now in my life currently guys i'm gonna be real with you i've been fucking through it you know and i think that a big reasoning as to why i've been suffering immensely is because god has been seeing the amount of wonders that he's been putting in my life and how spoiled he's been making me and he said i need to fuck this kid up because i need to make some serious character development in him and then i want to see how he's going to react in response to all those bad things happening to him in his life and that's gonna happen to you guys as well a lot of bad shit's gonna fucking happen so don't get all hyped up and oh my god feel like you're on top of the world and you're the best or you're the most important and fuck everybody else because maybe you're making a lot of money this month or you're getting all these fucking girls out of nowhere or you're fucking living here or doing this or you got that dream car because one day shit could just fucking happen straight up and then it feels like everything's just yeah. coming down like no tomorrow right so you need to live humble you need to live wary and cautious and know that okay Life's amazing right now, but it could go down at any moment. And that's okay if it does, because that's how life is, right? Life is a roller coaster. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down. No in between, okay? And so with that being said, God damn, these mosquitoes, Isaac, holy oh, shit! shit. Damn! Insane. They're eating my ass, they're eating my back. Like, yeah. fuck, man, they're sucking me more than any... All right, that, I was going to say some, like, explicit shit right now, but that's besides yeah, but the point. <laughs> you know, it's not that I didn't know this already, but I just came to a realization that... Although I got a lot of shit going on in my life personally, so does everybody else. Everybody's got shit going on. And the truth is, is that there's always somebody out there that has it better and worse than you, right? I was actually talking to a guy that I know that works at Best Buy. Hey, if you're watching this video, shout out to you, dog. I'm not going to say your name for obvious reasons, but you're a fucking G. And he hit me up, actually, and he, he hit me up on the phone and we were talking, right? And I kind of explained to him the shit that I've been going through. And he's been giving me, like, you know advice and and helping me out and giving me tips and shit right and he's even told me like damn that's it's fucked up you know i'm not gonna lie that's tough bro it's tough and he started telling me the shit that he's going through and what he's gone through and i'm like damn like i sound like a yeah. bitch right now yeah. complaining about this shit i'm dude telling me you know he's gonna get hernia surgery you know in the next couple of days and that you know coincidentally he actually suffered yeah. from something that i suffered from a few years ago called testicular torsion right and he had the same thing. And basically, essentially what that is, it's like when your nuts like twist and shit and they lose oxygen, you gotta get surgery to like, I guess, staple the fucking, I don't know what the fuck, to supply oxygen so you don't lose your nuts or whatever the fuck. If you don't get the surgery, your, your nuts can die and they have to like cut it off, right? He had that shit, he didn't know he had it, and he ran out of time and his left testicle died. And he had to get his fucking left nut like removed, bro. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy, That's fucking crazy bro. Like you always think that people have it better than you, but when you find, talk to them, and you realize that this guy has it worse. Exactly. No, straight up, bro. Straight up. Like, you thought this guy had a way better life than you, and then you see, when you actually go into his shoes, you're like, this yeah. guy's a way worse Dude, life than exactly. Me. You know, he's telling me, like, how, damn, a mosquito just died straight on my arm, but he's telling me how straight up, like, you know, he's getting hernia surgery, that shit happened to him, his left eye's going blind, I'm like, none of that shit I have, right? I'm like, good in that aspect right i may be bad in this aspect and i feel absolutely horribly especially emotionally for some personal shit that's going on in my life but like but at least you don't have at least physical damage. yeah at least i have no physical damage as of right now at least you know i got both my nuts yeah. for some girl out there to suck on all right let me stop the moral of the story i wanted to keep this short simple and sweet for you guys is learn to love learn to forgive never forget but forgive learn to love forgive never forget believe in god Allow him to bring you along the journey that he wants you to go through, right? Good, bad, all of the above. And just know that this is your destiny. You're the main character in this fucking movie, right? And you have to decide for yourself right now. Is the game over or is it let the games begin, okay? That's all I got to say. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And remember to subscribe. Remember to subscribe. Almost 40,000 subscribers. It's your boy Kevin Diaz from Crew Aesthetics, guys. And I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, seriously. And yeah, we're going to fucking take it. We're going to take over YouTube. We're going to the moon. Let's fucking do this Let's shit. Let's go. Let's